Alright, what's up guys? This is Retro Gaming Veteran back here with another Retro Let's Play. So, uh, this episode we're going to be playing Jurassic Park for the NES. So, a lot of people don't know that this game came out for the NES because by the time this game came out, the Super Nintendo and the Sega were already out. So, a lot of people know from playing Jurassic Park that... from the Sega one. So, I will do that one later. So... I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good game from my childhood. But, as you can see, for being 8-bit and everything, this game isn't graphic-wise too terribly bad. Alright, so, level 1. Power to the electric containment fence has been cut off. The dinosaurs are taking control of Jurassic Park. Find Tim and rescue him from a giant stampede. Or, er, stampede of giant triceratops. And use the motion detectors for helpful information. Okay. So, uh, this game, you are Dr. Grant, obviously, because who else would you be? So, besides the raptor man himself. And you're just running around, and you're just blasting dinosaurs. <laughs> so... I don't really know what kind of gun he has, because it's like some bazooka hybrid with some spear thing coming out the back of it. But, uh, you do pretty much just have to, uh, um, go through and pick up them blue Easter eggs. You're basically just Easter egg hunting through the first couple levels here. So, uh,. Yeah, it is one of them games where you kind of have to get your bearings on it because it does turn into a where do I go game at certain points. Uh, point of reference. Okay, yeah, you can jump, number one. Uh, but them electric grates right there can actually kill you. So they'll hurt, they'll hurt you if you walk on top of them. But, and then these things can give you a uh, wide variety of stuff. They can give you extra ammo, uh, health, um, invulnerability, and they can actually even blow up and kill you. So, alright, that one gives me health. So I don't think it's got a, uh, uh, like randomized thing about it, so from all the times I remember playing this, it was all pretty much, you know, the same thing, did the same thing, so, yeah. Damn, spitting dinosaurs. But, the dinosaurs do regenerate, as you can see, so, just them little, little minion guys will just keep coming up and around, and so, uh, but what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get into this building, so it's, like I said, you have to kind of just Easter egg through and collect stuff so you can go into, like we just picked up a key card from getting all the Easter eggs outside, so, and then that will give us here. So, that one will kill you, <laughs> so I remember that from a kid, being a kid, so... Come on. There we go. So, this is the uh, terminals that they were talking about. The motion sensors. So, they're actually just little computer terminals that will kind of help you out and will kind of tease you because it will ask you if you want to turn the power back on and it will tell you you can't do it from that one. So, it's like, okay, thanks, game. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the option, if I can't even do it at that one particular location, so. But, uh, we just got the key card for the second building over here. And here we go, so. Oh, what's up? Oh man. But, uh, this game does, uh, get pretty... Like, where do I go a lot of the time? Oh, see, that one always would have hurt me if I didn't have this, like, good old flicker and invincibility here. 
but the main problem I found with this game, now since I'm actually like older and playing it and everything, is that it's really hard, especially when you're coming into a place like there, like you know, it's it's hard to see if you could actually walk down and in there through there. I mean, there were just, by the time, like I said, this game came out, there are way easier ways to do that and show that you could actually walk through that stuff. So, I just don't know why it, you know, the, it matched the walls. So, but, I mean, like I said, you can even do something like that, you know, that's not too difficult to do. But, what are you going to do? It's, you know, it's an old game. <laughs> so, you can sit there and bitch and moan about it all you want, but that's what we had when we were kids. Ooh, that one hurt me. But that one gave me some health, so that's good. Ah, I keep wanting to jump. Let's see if we can get in here. And that did nothing. Alright. I think we have to go down here. Yeah. I think we talked to this computer. Oh, entry denied. Okay. Oh, well, we don't talk to that computer. I'm just trying to find Tim, man. Missing an egg? Might be missing an egg. Well, let's just keep going down here and explore through this Easter egg hunt. So we're doing this together, guys. So like I said, this game can just really turn into a where do I go, what do I do type of game. Oh, that raptor's back. Well, uh, I think we're good, so I'm going to leave. So, I mean, there's really... I didn't see if I picked up a key card. So... But, we'll just walk out and we'll see what happens. So, I do know we need to go back up to where we started from. See, look, yeah, these gates should open. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just go back into here, because I obviously missed something, so... Oh, jeez, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> awesome. Now I think we go down to this guy. Quit shooting diagonally, Grant. Come on, man. That was a good chat. Uh, main menu. So, uh, let's go gate control. Alright, Jurassic Park main gate is open. Cool beans. No, don't kill me. Alright. Ah, run. This game is really gracious with its continues, but the problem is it's when you die, you obviously start right back off from the beginning. So, yeah, and I just don't want to do that. So, oh, there's our buddy. So basically, we just have to run and <laughs> not get ran the hell over by all of this tri these triceratopses. Uh Dup. Uh. Dup. Uh. 
He's got life. I don't know what he's got going on for life. At least I'm pretty sure he's got life. I mean, he's pretty pretty trampled on but at this point. Get up, man. Come on. I'm trying to survive here. Oh man, I ran right into that one. Uh, okay. But see, like I said, we'll we'll continue from this point here. So we want to go back and go Easter egg hunting. Ah, oh, come on, man. Get up. Alright guys, I'm not talking. This is kinda you guys gotta play this game for yourself to realize how, you know uh I don't wanna say stressful. I mean I've played a lot more Oh, I'm stuck on that rack. I played a lot more stressful games, but it's just one of them games where you just really gotta think about where you're going. Oh, when is it gonna end? There's a hell lot of Triceratopses. I mean, in the movie, you only saw one, so I don't know where they got, you know, the budget for 300 of these bastards. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, yeah. That's it. Awesome. Level 2. Congratulations, you have saved him from being crushed. <laughs> Tim tells you that his sister is hiding in the T-Rex enclosure. Find Lex and save her from the T-Rex. Alright, so here we go. So, it just really sucks that, like, also, you start the level off with no ammo. Oh man, there's two of you? There you go. How do you like that? Yeah, like, you could have had ammo. Ooh, this is a green one. Ooh, that's like a rapid one. That's cool. So, but, yeah, you start the level off. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. A anyway, I, f I forgot what I was trying to say. So, I got overwhelmed by dinosaurs. <laughs> Nah, what I was trying to say was that you, uh, you know, you don't start the level off with, like, what you ended with, I guess is the best way to put it. So, let's see if I can go in here. Can I go in here? Nope, not yet. Let's see, like, how do I shoot that guy? I can't. Can't go up that way. So I think I came down here for nothing. That's what this would, I would assume. Could have up? No. Oh, come on. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. Come on. Now I can. Alright, now that I'm almost dead. Awesome. Uh, okay. Oh, you bastard. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. I think that one blew me up last time, so I'm just gonna run, try to save all this ammo, because I know the T-Rex is gonna come up, and I'm assuming the T-Rex is going to suck. I don't remember, really, the T-Rex from when I was a kid. So hopefully I can get to that part. Ugh. I'm like missing one. Alright, I'm gonna have to start blasting. 
Gonna have to weed out the herd a little bit here. Yeah, come on out. I guess since I got one hit left on me. Nope. See, where's the one I'm missing? Oh, really? Oh, I got it. I just didn't pick up the key card. Come on. Alright, so we'll go into this raptor enclosure. Yeah, I was ready for you that time. I don't think it's gonna do me any good. Yeah, no. Ugh. I got one continue left. Run, run, Grant, run. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, you don't like that. Had had you had you pinned. not going to make it to the T-Rex guys, so I'm going to call the video here, so, but, yeah guys, that is Jurassic Park for the NES, so, uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's not too bad of a title, I mean, it's definitely worth a play through if you guys haven't played it or even heard of it, it's definitely worth checking out, so, um, but, like I said, I'm going to call the video here. If you guys want to see me play a little bit more of this, then, uh, yeah, just let me know about it, and I'll I'll play through it. So, or if you guys have a suggestion for another playthrough for me to do, um, just, yeah, let me know about it. Uh, keep in touch with me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'm just gonna stop the video now and stop my rambling so i will see you guys in the next video so hope you guys enjoy and in the meantime happy retro gaming everybody